Now I'm a trick diaper. All right, you guys. So Gus, Gus, please don't forget that Gus is really, really interested in finding a new home. He would love to go somewhere that trail rides. We have Kitty here. Kitty would love to go to a family that wants to barrel race. This is Fortunato. He is like just cooking, isn't he? I'm telling you, he is just doing so fantastic. Paula Champion is a champion. This horse deserved to be saved. He deserved everything that he's been given. It's absolutely fantastic. His life is forever changed thanks to her kindness. Then we have little Macho Man Randy Savage. He's gilded now. Big Thor Thor. We have Babe. Um, that's fine, baby, if you want to draw and stuff. Go ahead. But please, you guys, don't forget to share Gus out there and let people know that Gus is available. Kitty here would be loving a new home. Fortunato does have a home. That's like a totally different horse. He came in here like with a dragging a leg. Then little Macho Man is now a gilding, so he'll be ready for somebody's younger kids because he's very well broke, but he was still a stallion. And thanks to a very wonderful donor who donated the castration, he is now a gilding. And Elizabeth said this morning, his attitude is brand new. It is brand new. Everybody looks so good. I am really proud of this. He came in, Dara. I know that you probably saw on the lives, but I mean, he was, he was dog food. I mean, that was walking dog food when he got here. And Thor, you're going to have to ride him, Dara, just because he is just, he's fun. Is yeah. Are you a draft horse fan? Sometimes. See, I am. Like he's I, gated. no, he's just a big big gate no he's not gated he's just a big horse but when he lopes it's like rocket burners engaged like he lopes like a look at gus gus is Whoa, like no. gus is like demanding more camera time did you see him he's like i'm gonna stop right here so you guys can see how beautiful i am and miss kitty is doing so good she would really love somebody you guys let's have would somebody like to donate a trim i bet we could get tyler to do um, a trim for Miss Kitty. If anybody would like to donate that, you can send it to my cash app. Um, a corrective trim is $85. Anything would help, but she could sure use it. She is actually, she was actually bought for slaughter, not for trading. And she could use her feet being redone for sure. There was one more real pretty. Oh, it was the little barrel mare. All right, you guys, this mare could really utilize a trim and we'll be more than happy to video it live if anybody wants to help her. She's got very, very, very long broken feet. So if anybody's watching this and you'd like to donate a trim, look, his little fancy shoes are just, Paula's going to watch this video and I know she will just be totally stoked because this is much improvement. Fortunato is beautiful. Thorbug is beautiful. Dara, if you don't mind, will you pull your truck just up? That way when Elizabeth, when she puts them in the barn, she's been leading them through the trail course, just working with everybody. Oh, yeah. Yep. We've just been trying to do a lot of desensitizing. That way when they get home, they're just better than when they came here, you know? But you guys don't forget Gus Gus. Tyler is going to trim him today. But this mare right here doesn't have... Jacob's not going to foot the bill on her. So if anybody would love to donate a good trim to her, even a trim or a set of front shoes, it would be fantastic help for her. You can cash app I Ride a Rescue. Or you can pay um, Tyler directly. Well, um... Marianne, a trim is $85 for a corrective trim because she is going to have to be leveled and balanced, so it takes a lot more time. Tyler can normally go to another place and knock out five horses, and here it, it probably takes five, five and a half hours to do six horses. So, 
Um, that is Watch Me Go Babe. He came in with an ear injury and we have been rehabilitating the ear, which is a long story. But there's nothing really wrong with the ear. It just had a wound that nobody bothered to treat. Um, he rides like a million dollars. He literally rides like a million dollars. Probably one of the brokest horses on this property. Thor said, come back. Keep looking at me. I want to show them what I look like. All right, you guys. We've got Thorbug. I really think that shoes could help her. And if anybody wanted to donate any additional trims, say more than one person wanted to help, we really have a couple of others that could really use it um, that are unsold, including um, including a couple of the ones we just videoed. So I, she could honestly use some shoes because her feet are splayed. Um, she will not require shoes long term. But anytime you can shoe a splayed foot, you can um, help the integrity of the white line and the internal hoof capsule to strengthen and heal um, without her weights resplaying it. So I do, I think a little set of front shoes does a horse a lot of good, not to stay in forever, but like Fortunato, eventually he'll go barefoot, but he's in some corrective shoes. She doesn't need corrective shoes. She needs corrective trims. Um, the one that's Watch Me Go Babe with the white socks. All right, you guys, um, everybody's on the website. Please don't forget that our website is killpinhorses.com. It is completely up to date and you can absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, um, find every horse on there. Just go to the three uh, little stripes in the top right-hand corner and go down to horses. Then there are different categories you can choose from trail horses to performance horses. This is Watch Me Go Babe. This is Gus the Mule. This is Miss Kitty. We have Fortunato, um, Macho Man Randy Savage, and we have Thor. So we're going to try to go live a lot with them on the walker from now on so you guys can see that they are sound, that they're sane, good quality horses. This is my barrel, my personal barrel horse. She's tied up trying to get a little sun therapy because she's been spicy this morning. So, all right, you guys. I will talk to you guys later. We will be back shortly and if anybody would like to cash app again the cash app is um, I ride a rescue all right thank you guys so much you can go to I Ride a Rescue. Anytime, um, if you guys can't go to I Ride a Rescue, it is okay um, to also go to just our Facebook fundraisers that we often have. The funds always go to a good place regardless of where they're sent. Um, we would really like to get Miss Kitty's feet done. A set of shoes is 125 for front shoes. Um, and we do have a couple of unsold horses who could really utilize some trims. So I'll let you guys know shortly how, how much we received for um, shoes and trims. And I'll go live. And uh, Callie, Gus the Mule would love that. Gus the Mule will love that. He's kind of a little bit of a one one person mule he would like to belong to one person he wants to be um everything everything on here except for fortunato would the original lucy need a trim absolutely nina she needs a trim really bad that's a very good one nina thank you so much for just re remembering like um she also needed some cep mare no drama for mares i think somebody sent that to her and i'm gonna be excited when it gets here yeah that's petra so that's my my personal horse but she's all right you guys um do you know where lucy is the one that had the cut on her front leg she's maybe moved down In b row right Mm -hmm. Maybe B6 or 7? Yes. Okay. We need to get her. I think somebody may be interested in donating a trim to her. So if we can get her up and tie her, we could um, get her a trim. I think somebody's going to probably donate a trim or a set of front shoes to Miss Kitty here. And there's a real pretty sorrel mare in C5 that has a white blaze. You want to go try to catch her, Lane? You think you can? Yep. You could probably get Lucy and bring her up and then that other mare. It would be 85... 
um, for three. Absolutely, Callie. Gus would love a care package. Gus has gotten to where he knows Elizabeth now, and he's getting very, 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 very calm and friendly, where he was super reactive when he first got here. Yes, ma'am. She wanting to color on my barn? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that marker, at least when it rains, washes off. So I just let her have at it. She colored all over the walls in my house. And I took pictures of them and sent them into a place that's going to put it on canvas. And then I cleaned all the walls off. But I'm going to have her artwork framed and put all over my house. Thank you guys so much. Um, Yes, Watch Babe Go is the one that had the ear issue. And he's fantastic. I keep trying to get Tyler to take some horses and rope on them or take something and turn into a steer wrestling horse. He just has no desire. Got a little Trevor in him. You got a little Trevor in you. You can tell him I said that too. Share this video with him. I hope your mom sees this one. <laughs> How was your mom? How was Christmas? Watch babe go. He's cute, isn't he? He had a like a cut on his ear and they let it get infected and it just proud fleshed like a big proud flesh on his ear. Yep. Gus is getting so used to things. Um, hey, actually, Tyler, if you guys want to, is Dara in there? Will you tell her to just get Miss Kitty? We can start with Miss Kitty. I mean, I guess I can. I don't know why I'm telling y'all. Let me do it. Come on, Tinley. Get away from Petra with that flag before she boots you into tomorrow. I like your flag. Um, hey, do you like, do you like the scribbles? I do like scribbles all over the place. Yeah. Miss Dara, can I get a favor? Will you get Miss Kitty off the walker and hold her while they catch some horses? The stalls are not, not that big of a deal. I don't think, I don't think... Hi, sir. What do your feet look like? Oh, you could use a trim. He could also really use a trim if anybody wanted to donate a trim to him. Hers have been done. Her feet look great. His feet look good. Which one is Miss Kitty? The one with the Texas sign on her butt. Yep, she's on the page and the website. If you ever don't know, there's always a list for reference. All right, you guys. I'll look and see what's been sent. All right. We do have Kathy Waldron has paid for um, a trim. If anybody else would like to, I could definitely, definitely use a set of front shoes for Miss Kitty here. That would help greatly. Miss Kitty is such a good mare. Is that Jess? I don't know where Dara is going. Yeah, the address is on the buyer. Oh, sorry. The address is on the buyer's guide. This is Miss Kitty, by the way, you guys. She's like, I don't know. She's like, the bridge, not so bad. The noodles, I don't know. Yeah, M Macho Man Randy Savage is enjoying being a gilding for sure. Tyler, you like babysitting? You're good at it. Damn it. <laughs> That's depressing. Sierra, everything is. Yep. 
<laughs> I bet you probably talk Jess or Baba into it. Yep. Somebody told me that the new Coke vanilla and the, no, Dr. Pepper vanilla is, the new one is 10 times better than the old one. And I am, I used to be so addicted to Dr. Pepper with vanilla in it. And I'm not, I'm dreading it. He did catch 1126 or maybe it was 1026 and he did work with her. We just don't have time to video all of them. Um, Riker, I guess she added Riker to your list. Okay, they'll catch him next. Yeah, I think that would be fantastic for that horse. Trying to think what, um, Hey, Tyler's here if you would like for him to go ahead and do his feet. Come here, baby. Come out here. Come with mommy. I'm all right, you guys. So we've got three for sure. Two trims and one set of shoes. So we have $85 to pay for one trim. Now, if we could get $125 donated to pay for a set of shoes for her and $85 for another one, that would be amazing. Um, I do not want to gild Nuke. He has been a sire. He's a good stud. Um, he's registered. He has babies on the ground that are being shown. And I think that it would be better for Nuke to probably go to a home that's just capable of um, handling a stud. He was also born in 2006. And, um, uh, I think it would just be beneficial to not gild that horse at this age. Um, Thor, watch babe go. And then we're watching Dara work with Miss Kitty, which this is probably a thing to do after the farrier, not while the farrier's waiting, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not going to complain about it. Jess, will you kind of help Dara encourage her to go through? Tyler's waiting on her. <laughs> babe is watch me go, babe. Yep. Good job, mama. You don't get a choice. You're a spicy turd. Oh, mama. Good job, Mama. Um, it's Sarah, it is Dylan. And um, anytime you guys are interested in a horse, please remember I'm not going to hold them for them to be evaluated. But if you did want them evaluated by Dylan, um, he'll be back. He's on a trip right now. I think he's gone to Connecticut. He'll be back after the weekend, so probably by Monday. And he should be here two or three days next week. Hey, Tinley, you want to go with mommy? He has one on the front and one on the back. You're almost through, Miss Kitty. Come on. Tyler's waiting. He'll be here today. And then probably not again for a week or two. If you want to put her on the list for today, he can get to her before he leaves. Come on. Come on, Tinley. Come stay with mommy. Tyler is not supposed to be a babysitter, baby. He is. I told Dara, I was like, ne next time let's do the desensitizing after the farrier. That way he's not waiting. 
Yeah, that's her. That's who they're waiting on. Fixing to get the flag and get after her. Because she's at this point in the noodles. She's not scared. At this point, she's just like, you know what? I don't really have to. It's not beneficial waiting for the farrier in the noodles. Tyler, if you want to go push her through the noodles, speed your day up. Um, <laughs> no. I watched a TikTok about that last night. I watched a TikTok last night. There's like a horse trainer on there and she makes like kind of satire stuff that's based on real events. And she had a lady come that like stuck her fingers in the horse's butt and then went up to the horse and let the horse sniff it so the horse would bond with her. Thought that was the weirdest shit I'd ever heard. But then I Googled it and there's really people that believe that's a thing. That's not. We should make TikToks of the stupid shit we see here. No, Dara, he's waiting on you. He's waiting on you. To shoe her. It's okay. Come here. Yeah, she needs to be trimmed. And I, she, I think she's going to need a set of front shoes because they're so splayed. I don't think she has to stay barefoot. She's not crippled. But, I mean, I think, like, this one right here has this crack. I think a little front shoe would just stop that from splitting. So, whoever does end up with her, at least they're ahead of that crack. Come on, baby. Come get behind me. trim most of it out, but that's still... Yep, I just, yeah, I just was thinking if we put a little set of shoes, it would prevent that from going on up. You're welcome. They now know you're here. Hello? Here. Yep. He's in a stall, Tyler, so he's right there. Like, he's not a catch. He's... Not anymore. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's no cellulitis anymore. He was trying to tear my walker down today. <laughs> Come get your horse. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Come on, Tinley. Let's go, baby. Yeah, he's right there. Come on, Tinley. You want to go to town? Are you hungry? You ready for some lunch, girlfriend? Yeah. What kind of lunch do we want? You want what? White House. You want to go to White House? Yeah. That's Chinese food. Chinese food. What else do you want? I want spaghetti. You always want spaghetti. Oh. You little turtle bucket. Hey, yeah, we can go in mommy's car. I said, can I draw on your car? No. Because mommy's car is not, not, it's not good to draw on it. This is Thor, you guys. He is six years old now, and he is fantastic. He's 16 too. He is just such a good freaking boy, you guys. He's the best. I don't think Dara realized that what we were doing. She was, like, just out there working with her, and I'm like, Dara, Tyler's waiting on you. <laughs> she was like, I didn't know. Come on, T. Hey, this, is, this is such a good girl. I just I love, love her. I do, too. I love this mare. He did have one. Did, he, did it come off? Hi, Dad. Move back the way so I can sit on Peppa. I think so. Did the, back the other back shoe came off? Yes. Yeah. He's got two fronts on and no backs. Okay, because he had one back on. I thought this front was missing, is it not? He's got spider blood on. Ugh, it needs to come off. Okay. Yeah, we'll put... Like yeah. In Louisiana, they race in really, really deep sand, and they put spider plates on everything, and it just destroys their heels. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can put just something to where he can get some. Thor is half Percheron, half Frisian. He's six years old. He is broke to absolute death, and he's like the biggest dog in the world. Like he is a freaking lap hound. Please remember anything that's priced over 5000 if you have a ready to pay today cash offer and you're like, hey, Tara, I want this horse. Here is my two day offer. That's people ask the time you take offers. No, no normally we don't because people will go, well, I want to make an offer and then I need to think about it. Just remember the only way that we're ever going to take an offer is if you call and you're like, I want to buy Thor today. I have X amount of money and it's within a reasonable amount of his current price. Like 
don't ask us to take thousands of dollars off. But if you're like, you know what? I have X amount today. I can pay like as soon as you say yes, then my husband might negotiate. Everybody in here is ready for nap time. All right, you guys. I will talk to you guys later. We're fixing to get her feet done. We'll take before and after pictures and post them online. Yep, this is Miss Kitty. She's such a good girl. 728? Who's that? Yeah, she's, I mean, yeah. She's not hard to catch. All right, yeah, I went live. They know you're here. I screwed you. Thought you were going to slip out of here just doing a handful. Psych! What you doing tomorrow? Coming back here is right. We're going to get the farrier two days in a row to get caught up. Send star parties. Yeah, these feet. All right, you guys. I'm going to take. I'm going to take some before and after photos of these. Here, Daryl. Will you like? Uh, will you step her just a touch back, and we'll get a good before photo so that people know what they paid for. Because she will be so. The reason to me that feet work is so important is because these horses weigh so, so much. So when their angles are off, like you can see the angle of this foot is off. See that dish in the pasture? That's not normal. So she actually probably needs a little set of shoes. And I don't know. I don't know that she'll need a wedge. We'll see what she trims up like. But that is putting an excessive amount of stress down in that hoof capsule. And it's just anybody that's ever had feet problems or had bunions or anything like that knows like you guys know what it's like to stand all day with no relief on feet that hurt and when that's when their feet get to looking like this that's what's going on so hey get up so get off the ground so hey get off the ground so tinley i told you not to be on the ground when the horses are in here because you can't get up and get out of the way fast enough so either sit in your chair or go and go in the tack room and play but we can definitely. Okay. All right, you guys. Pamela, everything is on the website. So on Facebook, we're just kind of here to share all of our content. You get to see all the horses behind the scenes, spend horses with times, spend time with horses you might be interested in, things like that. But you have to go to the website, which is killpinhorses.com. Every horse has their own little ad, photographs, things like that. And that's what's important. So if you really want to know information, that's where you go. Well, girlfriend, come on. Let's let's get up. Come here to me. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need that in about yep. 10. Let him have that. Come on, baby. Get your toy. Come on, sweet girl. Tinley, get Tinley, get off the ground. Thank you, sweet girl. We have um, one trim left. If anybody wants to gift funds, we have one more horse that needs a trim. Um, so that'll be perfect. We have, um, Barbara and Miss Kathy have both helped. So, um, somebody had mentioned Lucy. If we could get Lucy's paid for, that would be fantastic. She could definitely utilize a trim. Um, and if anybody wanted to maybe help, oh, Nuke down there. Nuke could definitely use a trim. And poor Tyler, he thought he was going to get to have tomorrow off. But, psych, just kidding. Welcome back. A corrective trim is 85, um, if, you know, for a horse that you own and corrective trim plus shoes is 125. Whoa, mama. Oh, she's all right. I, let me, here. Yeah, that's why you're not supposed to be on the ground. Good job, baby, getting out of the way. I'm proud of you for staying out of the way. 
So I want you guys to know that sometimes this right here isn't a behavioral issue. It's a pain issue. That foot has such a bad angle and her having to bear all of her weight on that front leg with that foot splayed out and in a bad angle, it's actually painful for her. So she's not being reactive and ugly because she doesn't like Tyler or she's not trained or that she's not good for the farrier. She will progressively get better for the farrier if you don't let their feet get painful. There's very few of you that I could convince to stand on your bunion foot and balance and hold your good foot up. And that's how these horses feel. All right. Well, we'll be back. <laughs>